Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster coming to you with another puzzle. Um, this is one that I found on the Cracking the Cryptic Discord archive, um, and it stood out to me as a really nice pattern, and um, it looked quite clever. It had been solved by a few people and rated as a difficulty three, um, and I contacted the author, um, Alaric Taki A, or Crusader175. Um, I hope I got the pronunciation of your name correct there i'm sorry um and uh he gave me permission to do the puzzle so um i thought it would be really interesting and i wanted to give it a shot and see if i could make my way through it and present you with an interesting puzzle from an author uh, from a setter i'd not seen before um i don't know how new uh, i'm going to say crusader 175 because i think i'm less likely to butcher that name um I don't know how many puzzles uh, Crusader is set, so um, I'm going to see how I go at this one. Um, I will provide links to the puzzle below for those of you who want to give it a shot. Um, and um, if you uh, do give it a shot, come back, watch my solve, give the uh, video a uh, thumbs up. And if you want to see more of mine, please subscribe. I'm very close to 100 subscribers. I'd like to hit that. Um, I'm definitely not aiming for the big numbers that a lot of the other channels are, but uh, we'll see how we go. So the rules to this puzzle, um, there are four main rules, apart from the standard one, which is normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Same as with every other puzzle I've done so far. Um, the green lines are whispers lines, and they're all teeny. Neighboring digits, so digits that are adjacent to each other on the line, must differ by at least 5. Um, so if you put a, a 3 into here, the digit that is next to it would have to be 5 different. So it would have to be a 8 or a 9. Uh, digits on purple lines are Renban lines. Uh, so the purple lines are Renban lines. Digits must form um, a set of consecutive digits. They cannot repeat um, uh, and they can be in any order. So while you could on a line go 1, 2, 3, and 4, you could also go 1, 2, 4, and 3, or you could mix this up however you want. And you could change the 1 to a 5, um, because as long as they are consecutive somewhere on the line, um, that's all fine. Um, the last two rule sets are the big circles. Um, these are quadruples. The digits that are in the circles must go in the cells around the circle at least once um, in places where, like up here um, or here, or you can't on the end band, but up here it is potentially possible that we could have two threes or two sevens um, by the rules of Sudoku. Um, and the last one is killer cages. And these are interesting killer cages. Um, in the killer cages, the digits that you place within the cage, you add them together and they must sum to the digits in the top left corner of the cage. With those rules alone, this grid is solvable. So let's give this a shot. So as I was saying, when I first put uh, looked at these killer cages, the only way to make 3 in 2 is with 1 and 2. The only way to make 17 in 2 is with 8 and 9. And that pretty much does us with the killer cages. So what else are we looking at here? So these quadruples along with this means that we cannot put a 9 down here. So because 3 can only go with 8 or 9, wherever we put the 3, it's going to have to go with an 8. Now, this is not pencil marking like normal, where they are the only places in those boxes you can put those digits. This is just me noting for my own sake that 3 must go with 8 wherever 3 goes on this line, because I cannot use a 9. Same is happening with 1 here because seven has to go with one or two, but the one is not available. So two will go with seven. Can I do the same with the other? So can I restrict seven? Because one must go here, but I'm not... One must go here and here, but that's not providing the same pressure. This, so eight 
must go in this row because of the 17 cage and it must go somewhere in those four. So there is an eight in those two and the same is happening with this two. There is a two in there. Hmm. Where's the pressure coming from? This puzzle is called Renban versus Whispers. Is there something between these Renban lines and the Whisp? Is this set? Yeah, maybe. Let me just explore this. And if it is, then I'm going to explain that. So if I do that... That's not giving me, these are, got it, I can see it. Okay, um, I'm now going to explain set theory while I'm revealing what I've seen. Okay, uh, if you're familiar with set theory, feel free to speed up the video or skip over the next minute while I explain it, but um, speed up might be better because I'm going to show you what I found at the same time. So set theory, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that row first. That row will contain in the sol solved grid a complete set of the digits 1 to 9, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, all the way through. If I add three more rows to that, then this is going to be four sets of the digits 1 to 9, 4 1s, 4 2s, 4 3s, 4 4s, etc. I am now going to highlight four columns in the grid, and I'm going to highlight them a different color. So those are also four sets of the digits, one to nine. So we know that the blue cells and the green cells contain exactly the same digits, four ones, four twos, four threes, four fours, four fives, four sets of the digits, one to nine. Any cell that is marked with the same color has exactly the same digit in it because it's the same cell, it's, it's one cell. So if we remove the same digit from both sets, the sets are still equal. So any of the cells that contain the, both colors I can remove and the sets are still completely equal. Now, this is a one-two pair. This is a one-two pair. One is blue, one is green. They contain the exact same digits. I can remove them. This is an eight-nine pair. This is an eight-nine pair. They're different colors. They contain the same digits. I can remove them. And now I have the red band lines and the whisper lines being two completely separate sets. The rent, what is on the Renban lines must be exactly the same digits as is on the Whispers lines. And that's going to help me because I must have two ones on the Whisper lines and I must have two nines on the Whisper lines. So any Renban line that starts with a one must go one, two, three, four, five. It must start at a one and go up. And I can never do that on a seven line. So both of these three lines must be one, two, three, four to fill the ones that I get from here. There must be two nines on these whisper lines. Nine must go down, nine, eight. So both of these must be nine, eight, seven, six. And I have the exact composition I'm going to get rid of these because that was an initial thing. I have the exact composition of the digits that go into them. There cannot be an eight here because eights must be here. There cannot be a two here because there are twos here. Now, the next observation is I know they're now... There are two ones, two twos, two threes, two fours, two sixes, two sevens, two eights, two nines on the whisper lines. So the only digits I can put a four with is a nine. And I know the nines are in here. So these will have to contain four and nine. And the only digits that six can go with is one and the ones are in there. So these are one, four, six, and nine. And the other digits are 
two, three, seven, and eight, and they must go on the other whisper lines. So that means that the seven must go with the two on both of those lines because if because if the eight went with the two, that would force the seven would to go with the three, and that wouldn't work. So we now have the compositions of each of those two cell long whisper lines. Holy cow, that's clever. Okay, can I reduce this any further? I've got to be able to reduce this further. The question is how? Is it looking at this eight and two? So eight must go, can't go in here. So I can take eight out of there because eight is in those two, which forces eight into there, which takes eight out of there, which means that there's only one place left for an eight. So the eight absolutely goes there. Can I do the same with the two? The two must go there, which takes the two out of there, which means the two is in there, which takes the two out of there, which forces the two into the only place on the Ren band line it can go. And I've got the exact position of the two. So eight is now fully taken up in this row. So eight is in those. Well, it can't be there. Oh, no, it can be. No, it can't be because I need to put eights in here and in here. So eight can't be there. If eight was there, eight would be there and I could never put an eight there. So eight is in here and here, which means eight must be in there, which means that's a nine, that's an eight, that's an eight, and that's a nine. Can I do the same with one and two? Because two now must be in those and those. But two must be up here and in here. So two's not there, which takes two out of there, which means that's one, that's two, that's two, and that's one. That takes one out of there. If I can't use one there, I can't use six there. I can't use two up there, which means I can't use seven there. I can't use nine up there, which means I can't use four there. I can't use eight down there, which means I can't use three there. Is there more pressure I can apply somewhere? There has to be. So, four goes with nine in one of those. Can I get some pressure on that? And two and seven. Two in this box can't go there and two because it must be there it can't go there so two is absolutely up here which means two is in one of those three if two was there this would be seven or no yeah seven eight or nine i am assuming i can do the same with eight here yeah eight can't be there or there eight is in one of those two which means eight is in one of those three If 8 is there, 8 is there, 8 is there, well, we know 8 is there. Hang on. Eight is there, 8 is there, 8 is also in one of those three. Uh, 
8 is in one of those. One is in one of those. Eight is in one of those. Nine is in one of those. Nine can't be there. One can't be there because this is a one, two, three, four pair. So nine is in one of those, which means nine is not in one of those. This is one, four. So I can't put four there. Um, one has to be in one of those because I can't put it there. One, 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 one must be in one of those. One can't be in one of those. This is six, nine, which means six comes out of there. Four. Nine, 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 nine. This nine takes nine out of there. This six, nine pair takes nine out of all of those. Nine must be in one of those two, which takes nine out of those. That nine takes nine out of there, which forces nine into one of those. Nine, nine, that forces nine into there here, which forces nine into there. Can I do the same with ones? Where did that start? That started here. So one can't go in there. This one four takes one out of all of those. One must be in one of those two, which takes one out of those two. Forces one into those two, takes one out of there. One... This is very hard to follow. Hang on. Now that gave me a nine there. Did I just get a one here? Because one can't go there. One can't go there. This is a one. So, are these digits restricted? So, what don't I have in this column? I don't have 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So, this can't be a 2, 3, or a 4, because there's 1, 3, 4 in there. This is 5 or 7. This can't be 2, 3, or 4. This is 5, 7. So, I can take 5 and 7 out of there. I can take 7 out of there. This is a 2, 3. If this is 2, 3, there's no 2 there. This is 7, 8. So I've got a 5, 7 pair. That makes this a 4. That being a 4 makes that a 9. That forces that to be a 9. I've now got a 6, 7 pair. Oh, that's clever. That's very clever. So it's the quadruples on the re separated Renban lines. That's very clever. Let's try it again in this column. So I've got one, I've got two, I need three, I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, I've got nine. This can't be three because there's a three in there. This can't be eight, can't be seven. This can't be six, seven, or eight. Ah, oh, that's not as powerful.
Why is that not as powerful? What have I missed? Like, I know one, is it this? Oh, I can't put five on a whispers line. So now I know five is in one of those two. Oh, I can't put six here either because there's a six, seven pair. This is three, five. I can take three out of there. In fact, this is a six, which makes this a nine. I have got the same thing. This is now a seven, eight pair. In order for this to be seven, eight, I can't put eight there. So this becomes the eight. This is so clever. That forces the nine into there. This is a six, seven pair. This is three, five. This is clever. So I've got one, two, three, four. I need five, six, and seven into this row. I can't put six there. I've now got a five, seven pair. That becomes a six. That's because of the six there. I've got one, two, three. I need four, five, and seven in here. I can't put a seven there. I can't put a four there. Now I've now got a five, seven pair. This becomes a four. I can't put a seven there because I've got the six, seven, eight. This is a five. This is a three. This is a five. Three on a whispers line must go next to either four or two. I can't put a four in the box. That's a two. That takes two out of there. The only place on this whispers line for the two now is there. I'm going to take these top corner marks out because I don't know that they're helping me anymore. Oh, this feels so close. So what am I missing in this central box? One, two, three, five, and seven. I can't put a seven there. I can't put a five there. That has to be a three. I can take three out of there. This is five and seven. Um, this is now just a pair. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is two and five. I've got the one that's a two, so that becomes a five. That becomes a two. That five looks over making that a seven and that a five makes that a seven. Puts five slap bang in the middle. Seven has to go with either six or eight. I can't use six. That becomes an eight. That looks down here making that an eight. This is not an eight. I've now got a six, seven pair in the column. This is three, four, six, or seven. This is three, four, six, or seven. Wow, that's not restricted in any way. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, that eight is looking over, making that seven, making that eight, makes that six, makes that seven. The eight, as we said, had to go with the three, the seven with the two. Uh, the six makes that nine and that six. The six goes with the one, the nine goes with the four. Can I do the same down here? Yes, the two looks over, making that a three, makes that a four, makes that a one. The one we know has to go with the six. The nine goes with the four. 
that's the three, that's a two, the two goes with the seven, and the seven goes with the eight. These are, that, well, that's not an eight anymore, that's an eight. Two, four, five, and seven. This is five, six, or seven. And it's not seven. This is one, five, six, and seven. And there's no seven down the bottom. This is one, five, six. I can't put six there because of the six, seven pair. In fact, I can take six, seven out of there. Actually, two, this is one, three, four, five, because I've got six, seven, eight, nine, one, three, four, five, and it can't be one or three. This is four or five. Across the top. I can't put a two into any of those, so that becomes the two. There is no two there. This is one, three, four, or five. There's no four in it. Oh, I've screwed up somewhere. Ah, right, why did I put a nine there? That's a one. Did I use that any... How long ago did I do that? I think I haven't used it. Have I used that? No, I haven't used that for anything because I've still... Did I eliminate a 9 from anything? Because I... Th I may have. Okay, let's roll back. Oh no, how far back do I have to go? So this becomes a 1. This is a 7, 8. So that takes the 8 out of there. Let's just move forward. Um, that takes the 1 out of there, which forces the 1 into there. This actually might be more useful. Um, it doesn't force the 9 into there, however. Um, I do not remember what I did next. Okay. Um, that one makes that a four, which makes that a one. That one goes with the six. Be more careful this time. That's the nine. Um, that nine makes that a six, which makes that a one, which makes that a four, which makes that a nine. Um, what are these digits? So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So they're three, four, and five. Can't put three in there. Can't put four in there. That's not helpful. What about here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That can't be seven. That can't be six. I've got a five, seven pair. That becomes a six. Oh, that's a three, five pair. Sorry, that's a four. This is three, five, and seven. Damn it. This, if this is a Renban line, if this was a five, this would have to be a four or a six, and it can't be either. This has to be a seven. This now has to go up to an eight. That makes that a seven, which makes that an eight. The eight goes with the three. The seven goes with the two. Can I do something similar down here? Three would have to go with 
two or four. Five would have to go with four and six, and I can't put four or six there. This is a three. This can't go with a four, so that's a two. Two looks over, making that a three and that a two. The three goes with the eight. The eight goes with the seven. Three makes that a five. Five makes that a three, taking three out of there. This is a five, seven pair. Better. Different solve path, actually a little bit more interesting. These are a known pair now, because this is six, seven, eight, nine. So this is two and five. The two look down, looks down, making that resolved. The five makes that seven, makes that five. The seven looks over, making that five. I could have got that from the seven there. This is a known pair. One, two, three, four, five, and eight. That's the eight, that's the five. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's resolved by the six. This is coming out very differently, but I quite like it. One, two, three, four. Let's do that with real digits. One, two, three, four, five, and seven still go into here, which means this now has to be the eight. I'm not resolving that five or seven. This is three, four, six, and seven. Not resolved. I think this is three, four, six, or seven. Not resolved. This is one, five, and six. This is very similar to last time. There's no one, no one here, so there is absolutely a one in there. Um, three, four pair. That eight is looking down, saying that is not an eight. So the un not an eight. The only place on this Ramban line we can put an eight now is there. That's a six, seven pair, taking six, seven out of there, taking six out of there. Is there something similar over here? Two is looking up, taking two out of there, putting two into there. This is a three, four pair. I can take three, four out of there. This is five, six, seven, nine. There is a six, seven in the box. I can take six, seven out. So this is five or nine. This is one, three, four, five. And I can take one and three out because there's a one and three in the row. So this is two, four, five, nine. There's no two there. So the only place we can put two in the row is there. This becomes three, four, five, nine, and it can't be four or nine. This is three, five. This is three, five, because that's all that's missing from the row. And we now have a fully pencil marked grid. Three, four pair is not giving us anything five six seven th no i'm actually going to get rid of the highlighting i think it's making it harder for me to see stuff three four one three four three four one three four five one three four six seven Okay, this is a pattern I've seen before on the fives. I'm going to highlight that. That's a normal Sudoku trick. If you were to put a five in that cell, so if I was to put a five here, that would force a five to go here, which would force a five to go here, which would force a five to go here, and I've got a conflict. So when you see a pattern like this, the corners aren't eligible. So a five here would force a five here, 
because it's the only place left in box three, which would force a five here. And now I've got two fives looking into box seven and there's no possibility. So I can take five out of the corners. I'm not sure if that's going to help me at all. Like I'm looking for things like Y wings. Hang on. I was looking for Y wings, but I think this is even more clever. Because of the shape of these Renban lights, if I was to make that cell a three, it takes three out of both of those, and I need to put three somewhere else on the Renban line, which would put it there. But now this cell sees both of those. And this cell sees that one. And now there's nowhere I can put a three in box three. So if I put a three here, there's no place for a three in box three. That's very clever. That's using the Renban line constraint in a way I've never seen before. So that has to be a four. That becomes a three. We take four out of there, which means this has to be the four on the Renban line. This is a one, three pair. So that's a five. That's a four. The four in the box makes that a three. There is no three or four there. This is a six, seven pair. The three makes that a one, making that a three. Is this just going to be Sudoku now? Uh, the four makes that a nine, which makes that a five, which makes that a three. There is no three there. The five looks down, making that a six, looking up, making that a seven. There is a six and seven, makes that a nine. There is no nine there. In fact, the six in the box makes that a seven, makes that a five. The seven makes that a six, six, seven, that becomes a four. The seven looks back, making that a six, making that a seven, making that a six. I think I'm down to just one box. Six makes that a one, makes that a five, makes that a seven. Yeah, and that completes the puzzle. That's very cool. I love that ending. That is just great. So when... Crusader, or Alaric Taki A, sent me the message with permission. He said he didn't think it was a very good puzzle or not his best work or, or something. And I, I thought that was brilliant. The set to map the these tiny little whisper lines onto the Renban lines and then the 1-9 forcing the values onto the Renban lines, which then puts the force rolls back onto the whisper lines to force those to be um to be specific pairs and then being able to use those pairs in the columns and everything with just that was really clever and then at the end like i don't know if that five deduction i made it probably wasn't needed at all but then the the fact that the pressure on the on the Renban lines means you could use the Renban line elimination to form like a Renban Y wing. That was great. That was a really good puzzle. Um, that's possibly one of the most fun puzzles I've solved in days. Um, thank you, Crusader175. That was good fun. Um, I hope to see more like that out of you in the future. Um, other people, um, please jump onto the Discord and ask him to do more. That was great. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, I'm, yeah, I would love to hit the 100 subscriber mark soon, but you know, if I don't, it eh, doesn't really matter. Um, thank you for watching. Please feel free to join me um, for more videos in the future. And yeah, um, I hope everyone has a good day.